Hello there ladies and gentlemen and today we're taking a look at a little bit of a different story today. So as you know you can actually make animations in Rhino and we're going to take a look at that with V-Ray as well and how we can for example create this kind of animation in a matter of well actually minutes more or less. So yeah stick around and we'll see each other after the intro. So, okay, there are certain things that we need to cover here first. So we will create um, just a basic shape first here with um, surface points. We're just gonna create a surface here like this. And then we're also gonna uh, open the menu for V-Ray and the materials. And we're gonna just drag and drop a few materials from the standard library in those things as well. So here we have just a concrete and I also want to have some kind of wooden texture and we might take also some kind of plastic here as well. Okay here we have those three now and also I want to create a few boxes to create our environments that it kind of like um, works. We're just gonna create a sphere as well here and I might also want to create, oh, I think it's gonna be fine. So next thing we're gonna do is we are going to get on the rendered mode and then we're gonna click on the objects and we're gonna right click in the V-Ray tab and um, assign those objects, right click, um, apply to objects. We're gonna do the same thing as well with the leather and we're gonna do the same thing with the flooring. However, there might be some cases, for example, where the tiling, for example, the repeating of the surface is like too much or too little. So we can actually change this by going under the properties tab. We're going under the texture mapping and then we're going to apply a box mapping, for example, like this. And we're just going to create the box here like this, height enter, cap yes. And then you see it, it creates, it actually, um, repeats the texture that we have in this case. You see it's right now here and right now here again. And we can obviously, if we take a look at the texture here, we can change the position of the texture and we can also increase the size. We have to click on this. Yeah, if you wanna click on this, click on the show mapping. You can also just like uh, mapping widgets in the command line. Anyhow, let's hide that for now. So. The next thing we have to do is um, we actually need to create the animation that we want to use. So with that you are going to go under, let me take a look first, I always forget where it exactly is, ah, yeah. you go on the render tools, so the render tool app, and then you're gonna uh, click on this button and it actually expands um, the thing and here you have uh, several things. So first of all, it can actually create just a normal sun study and then it can also create like a path of like camera um, of like two paths and this is what we're actually gonna do. So um, well yeah I think we're gonna create a path ourselves um, so we're gonna create a curve and it's gonna be like this maybe gonna a little bit oval gonna close it and we're gonna move this a little bit in the middle and then we're also gonna have a curve like in uh, here like a little at the, the bottom and we're gonna move this up so basically the camera goes around this and it looks down so we're gonna go on the set of path animation we click the path curve and then the target path which will be here and then the, uh, the, then the number of frames, which I think can still be changed afterwards, but I think for one for now 100 would be fine. And now if you preview the animation, you will see it basically goes around it like that. It might look a little bit wonky and it goes quite quickly because um, I think it has like 30 frames. So it's just like three seconds. So one, two, three, as you see, it goes around it and it's, um, it, it because the frame amount is quite low the 
the rendering will be displayed more or less this way if you want to have it like smooth. So let me actually increase this size a little bit and also gonna increase that as well. I think we actually need to repath the curve um, for it to fit again. Yeah, it's actually 150 of those. Yeah. And it basically goes around like that. And I want to have it like this as well, so it goes like smoothly. Uh, like you can like have it repeatedly. Actually not like this, because this actually will cut off in the end, you see? Wait. And here, you see? You, you want to have it as a smooth transition. So, um, we are just make a little test rendering for now um, on low qual and draft quality and we just see because I think actually we need to add a sun as well so it kind of has like a little bit of a effect of the sun as well here. Um, now with that we have our image here, um, we actually might going to increase the thing a little bit and we have also the problem that uh, we don't have like a sun shining here. So we just want to activate the sun here and the sunlight and just click like this and increase, decrease the intensity and maybe increase the size a little bit so we have get like a little bit smoother shadows. So let's take a look at this again. Yeah, this looks like already something more like this and I actually might also want to I'll just duplicate those things a little bit so we have something some more geometry uh, to play around with as well like that put it here and maybe do a few ones here as well And copy the ball as well a little bit. Okay, good. Very nice. And I actually want to expand the um, the surface as well. We can also do this with an infinity surface. And I want to readjust the texture size of it as well. You can do this by here as well if you're going here. And just a little bit too much maybe. Yeah, this should, I think, look quite okay. Good. Now we need to go on the settings tab and we need to click on the animation and then check this thing here. And we also need to save the image to a certain file path that we're just gonna define quickly here. Um, sequence. Opa. We're gonna name it just um, YouTube. And I think I was gonna use JPEG as well for this. Okay, good. And now we have to also set the height of it as well, or the things. And now we can just hit the um, render button. Actually, let me see if there's something still missing to that. Oh, this is all fine. Okay, now we need to basically just press the render button and then the render window will show up hopefully, yeah. And as you see it creates one image after the next one. And actually I want to stop it because I think the ground texture is a little bit not enough in my opinion. So I want to change it to a different um, to a different thing here as well. So it's like more small. Yeah, I think that's better. better. Maybe even maybe even more. Pretty. Yeah, and I think also I want to try the like the edge softening as well. You can you see it will basically soften the edge of the. Um, of your object as well, so it has like this kind of like smoothness to it. We're just gonna use like different, we just wanna put them on of all of those things. And for the experiment, I wanna have it on different sizes. So, like this one will be one, this one will be two, this one will be just 0 0.1, this one will be 0 0.2. 
nice so we have all little slabs here as well and um, I also might want to increase it here as well a little bit um, I want to like make the mapping of it better because right now it's very big and I want to have it like tiling a little bit more so we want texture mapping I'm just gonna uh, repeat the UV a little bit yeah I think this looks a little more it looks right now with a weird uh, like um, mapping as well at the moment, but I think this will actually gonna pass uh, because um, that's just the bumping map. I think that's gonna be shown. Okay, good. Um, now that we have that, let's actually re-render the thing here, and it will just automatically would go back to the render thing as well. And that looks quite good. Okay, we're gonna. I'm just gonna leave this here for now. Um, I'm just gonna render it through, and then I will be back uh, when it's rendered, and then we're gonna continue the video. Okay, looks like we finished rendering. So. Now I'm just gonna show you how we can change or how we can make a sequence out of it, out of it which is usable for uh, your project. So there are like two different methods. One of them being doing it with Adobe Premiere Pro and which is like the more professional one and where you have more leanway. And uh, the other one would be with just like a very simple kind of animated GIF maker. So with this um, it's very easy to you just choose the files you um, uh, where you saved it. This one will be here. Take all of them uh, upload and make, make GIF or GIF or whatever you want to call it and then it uploads those things and but the problem is you kind of have the capacity with the files as well so you need to be kind of careful with it so it's like uploading here as well you see in the bottom left corner um, then there's another option doing it with Adobe Premiere Pro and with this we just like we'll, we first of all we create a new project give it a name and then we can go to if you go to DVC Pro HD 1080p and to this one um, this will be like a basic thing for example which will be very usable and here we can basically import then go to the uh, animation file that we created select them all they get imported and then when they're imported we can do the following so uh, as you see it basically has those like five seconds on there and if I put it on in here, it would just be in the frame for five seconds. So first of all, we're just gonna reduce it by going to um, speed and um, like how long it will be, and then we're just gonna increase to like 0 0.001, uh, so very very small. Then we can drag it and drop it in here, and then we also just can uh, we just mark them basically all. Of so right now you see they're all like together here and we just mark them all right click and then I think this basic st means stitching together in English so we're just gonna use that and if you're just gonna play this clip, this clip very quickly you see it actually shows exactly things of how we want to have it so it's actually pretty cool and we actually also I want to decrease actually the, the the speed is fine but if you want to change the speed you can still change it here again um, and I also want to change the size of it so that we can go under movement and then we increase the scale just by sliding the scale number a little bit up even though it would actually not be the good best because right now the resolution gets kind of fucked up but um, I just care about it being a full image so that, that's like the most important part so that works pretty well um, and I also want to basically just double it as well and see okay and as you see 
it definitely goes like very smoothly and you don't even see the stitching point as well so nice so that, that goes where that went pretty smoothly i would say so yeah um the next thing then you're also gonna use uh, go on file uh you're gonna export it and you're gonna export in the settings that we had here we you might need to change it as well a little bit for example here you can go to h 246 364 mean and then you can scroll down and go to this one here and it would create it in the same manner as well and it would be here export no I want to create a new file name and then you just export it and yeah hopefully it will export in the correct manner yeah I think that looks pretty well and it's in a, this will actually be in a mp3 format yeah, mp4 format I think and we're just gonna take a look wait let me da, 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 da. yeah and here we have it our animation going very very smoothly just the way we want to have it basically and also like show, shows the blocks very nicely how they work out as well cool yeah and this is the way how to do it with adobe premiere pro v-ray and grino and you can also obviously have it um here in the one in in the gift maker and here we can just um i think it gives us a preview as well for it let me take a look um i think in this one we need to decrease this number here and We need to call the range of frames, make a GIF. And there you might need to play around with the settings a little bit and it, it, depending on how many pictures you do, you uh, it, this will take longer. And furthermore, um, oh yeah, I think this will take quite a while. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, this will be like a very it's like a very slow animation at the moment but i think we can change this by okay or well, we can skip this one and then we actually need to do, put the delay time i think lower or higher and i think then it will actually be the correct okay no <laughs> okay so if, if the, the slower the delay time the better the, the, it would be so nice yeah that works pretty well and i think we actually need to because right now it disables those and i want to well, remove that and then it will be like a very smooth gif as well so nice yeah that's basically what we want to have perfect and there you go okay well it's like cuts i wonder why It for some reason takes out the first gifts, but actually I'm not exactly sure why it does that. But anyway, I think it's like close enough as well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you liked it. I think the um, the video that we made in the uh, in the sequence, this one here, looks quite cool as well. Um, there's like very smoothness to it. Um, yeah, and. There are other options to it as well with, with Grasshopper, however, I don't have the newest version of it um, with V-Ray. Next, there is a possibility to do this with animations in Grasshopper, which would be actually quite a cool thing. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.